this week on The Wire. Investor activity rising, states battle for top spot, and Aussie economy moving into next gear. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Our top story for this week, investor activity rising. So investors are tipped to return to the property market throughout 2021 as rising prices and yields in suburbia and the regions offer an attractive proposition. Now, the latest loans data suggests investor activity is already rising. The suburbs and regions are attracting investors as prices boom and vacancy rates push below 1% in many areas, putting upward pressure on rents. Now, AMP Chief Economist Shane Oliver says investors have often been the last segment of the market to turn. Momentum in prices is attracting investors back, but more so in the smaller cities, he said. Investors have largely been absent since 2019, dropping to an 18 year low in May 2020. Owner occupiers and first home buyers filled the gap, reducing investors' market share to below 30%. But NAB says rising confidence from the resilience of prices through the pandemic is, in, is spurring investors back. Now, a spokesperson said, we've seen positive signs for investors in recent months with lender demand picking up sharply towards the end of last year. Now, moving on to our next story, states battle for top spot. So the economic performance race has tightened, and that's according to the latest Comsec State of the States report. Tasmania continues to lead, cementing its place as the best performing economy. While the ACT has held on to the second spot, there is now little to separate South Australia, Victoria, Queensland, New South Wales, and Western Australia. State of the States report uses the latest data to provide an economic snapshot of how Australia's states and territory economies are performing. Now, Tasmania has topped the rankings for the fourth consecutive quarter and leads on four of eight indicators assessed. The ACT economy remains in second position, continuing its best performance in the economic rankings in three years. South Australia is now an equal third spot with Victoria. And the joint third ranking for South Australia is its highest position in over a decade, while the equal sixth ranking for New South Wales is its lowest position in eight years, closely followed by Queensland in the fifth spot. WA is lifted to equal six with New South Wales and the Northern Territory continues to lag the other states in the economic performance rankings. And now guys, for our final story of the week. Aussie economy moving into the next gear. So Australia's economy will grow faster than previously forecast this year as global growth accelerates following the rollout of the coronavirus vaccines. And that comes from the International Monetary Fund. A new forecast released this week, the Washington-based organisation says it now expects global output to increase 5.5% this year, higher than the 5.3% it expected in October. Now, the global economy shrunk 3.5% last year, less than the 4.4% forecast, it says. Now, the Australian economy is now projected to grow at 3.5% this year, half a percent higher than previously forecast and almost 3% in 2022. The IMF says the increased outlook for the rest of this year reflects additional policy support in a few large economies and expectations of a vaccine-powered strengthening of activity later in the year, which outweigh the drag of near-term momentum due to rising infections. The IMF went on to say the upgrade is particularly large for the advanced economy group, uh, reflecting additional fiscal support, mostly in the US and Japan, together with the expectations of earlier widespread vaccine availability. Well guys, that's it from me today. Now please don't forget to like, comment and share this video or follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.